So next is Composer Install. Okay. Composer Install and Composer Require are pretty much very similar. And we use Composer Require in the last video. Um, but when someone gives you their um, composer.json file, so you do not have these packages um, listed in the require um, key here. So basically to install those packages into your project, you'd have to do a composer install. Okay, so let me just show you what I mean by it in a moment. Let's delete everything um, inside this um, vendor folder here. So I'll just do a quick delete here, move to trash. So if I wanted to install um, now, let's pretend that someone just gave me this file. So that's how you can easily share files between projects. Um, or oh, sorry dependencies someone give, puts this in github and then gives me that so the first thing I have to do is um, do a composer install to install those so remember I deleted everything in the vendor folder so when I do composer install it's going to have a look at um, my require here um, function here sorry not function but my key and everything inside there is going to install it so I'll just press enter and um, as you can see it has installed everything so when i look back in this folder here everything is back there okay 